Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're going to be playing Layers of Fear. Or I'm going to be playing it. You guys aren't going to be doing shit. <laughs> so you probably tell, but I'm very nervous to play this game. It's been on my radar for a long time now. This game is pretty old, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I never looked into it, even though I thought it was interesting because I am a big baby and I don't like to play horror games that much. But you know what? During spooky season on this channel, it has really broadened my horizons a little bit and I feel a bit more comfortable. And I think that talking into a camera and like ranting a little bit will help me de-stress, I guess, enough to play this game. At least I'm hoping that'll be the case. I don't know anything about this game. I know that it's pretty scary and it's definitely scarier than the other games I've played on this channel so far. I don't know if it's gonna be like jump scare scary or just like tension build up and all that. I know this game is actually like four hours long. I looked it up and it said four hours even though I was kind of hoping it'd be like one. <laughs> I'm, I'm really nervous. I, I won't lie. I'm very nervous to play this game because it's definitely the type of horror that I hate. Like being in a house, at least from what I've seen from like a trailer that I saw. You're in a house and the house is haunted as far as I can tell. And that shit is terrifying to me. Just a warning, I'll probably scream a lot. I'll probably swear a lot. I'm sorry, it just, it just, it's naturally gonna come out of me the more I play. I got hair in my mouth because I'm not looking forward to being so scared. I don't know. I am honestly really excited to play it, but at the same time, I'm super, super nervous and I hope that I don't wuss out and maybe this Let's Play won't even be a thing, but you know what? I'm gonna go for it and I'm doing this for you guys. I hope you know that. I won't waste any more time. I've been procrastinating all day because I knew that I was gonna record for this game and I was really nervous and I still am but you know what it's fine I have my mom on standby she said to text her if I'm feeling too scared and she'll come in and give me moral support so we might have to use we might have to pull out the mom card today <laughs> let's not waste any more time and let's get into layers of fear okay uh for better experience we recommend using headphones well these aren't the best headphones and I actually had someone point out like are you ever gonna get good headphones and like Probably not, man. <laughs> I just, I've been spending way too much money lately and I need to stop. Can you tell I'm procrastinating? This music is actually really pretty. All right. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Layers of Fear is a unique immersive game experience in which every decision affects a narrative. Oh, as in life, it is the doors you open, the memories you take with you, and the shadows you explore that will define who you are. This may be our game, but it is your journey. Okay. A little loud. <laughs> okay. I turned down the music a little bit because it was very loud in my ears. I don't think I'm ready. I didn't know this was a, like, you could affect what's gonna happen. I had no idea. Okay. It's gonna do it. <laughs> Fuck. We went from Among the Sleep to Limbo, which I still haven't finished, by the way. Um, I need to, really bad. To this. It's definitely ramping up the scariness, I think. But I've also heard that the second Layers of Fear isn't as good. That's what I've heard, anyway. But if I do enjoy this one enough, if you guys want me to play the second one, maybe. I won't promise anything, though. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. I can't really hear you, bro. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. And what would that be? Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde. <laughs> I'm sitting really close to the screen. I don't think you guys realize how scary this is going to be for me. <laughs> Let's turn off the sensitivity because I was moving... <laughs> I was moving really slow there. Why does my head move so slowly? 
Oh my god, I hate this already. That's much better. Got some undies on the chair. Oh! That is not, not good. <laughs> what? Oh, the baby's not having a good time. It's like a cursed version of the storks. Can I grab anything? Man, oh. It's a muzzle. For a dog. Okay, how do I interact with stuff again? R2? Okay, got it. Man, got some moccasins. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at every mundane thing and uh, hopefully avoid being scared. These are some weird paintings, man. I know this game has something to do with paintings because um, it's been kind of shown throughout the loading screens and stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is peaceful. I like this. I don't- I'm not mad at this yet. Oh boy. Uh... An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new... Saravaggio? <laughs> How do you say that? I don't know. Others compare him to Von... I don't know how to say any of these names. You guys know how bad I am at pronouncing stuff. In one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Distinct style. Oh, the name is being scratched out, I see has been praised for its unique combination of renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown. Huh, revealed to us exclusively that the couple indeed ex are indeed expecting. Oh. So they're she's pregnant. Oh, I could have just done this. I don't know why <laughs> I didn't. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. I'm guessing we're at this painter's house. And he probably did those paintings as well. This is interesting. Okay. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than a prof prophylactic spraying? How do you say that? I can't read. Please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With, with best regards, Carl Denton. Pesky Pest Pexification. Why can't I read shit? I, I'm butchering all of these letters, man. Let's look at the fine china. Oh. Huh. You can see a little painting in the background, all of his paintings. It's interesting. So the painter either is doing this himself, or someone else is scratching out his name? That's crazy. Superior bourbon whiskey. Yeehaw. I'm gonna look through every single thing. <laughs> I won't lie. This is helping me stay distracted from... Oh, some nice cigars. Uh, from all of the scary stuff that's going to happen. This playthrough is gonna take me forever. <laughs> Okay, oh. What's this? Sir, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Is that maybe a maid that works here? Jeez. Oh. Where do you put the keys? 
I brought them back to your office. Okay. Well, if we find his office, we'll have the keys. Oh. Nice little glass spill. I honestly love the background music, like the piano. It's really helping me stay calm here. So, I'm not too spooked. Spook, spook level uh, is looking good. <laughs> uh, it's a dog collar. Long, how do you, what is that? Long, long daff? <laughs> Popkle. Popkle. What is that name? I think I'm losing my mind. Well, it's obvious that they had a dog at some point. So, let's just- okay. Stop it. What's in here? What's a kitchen? Hmm. I wonder who I'm playing as. I don't have feet, so there's that. Um. Oh, I don't like those paintings at all. I don't like those paintings, actually. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's just saying- Oh, it's a centaur man. Centaur dwarf. This one, I am not a fan of. He looks like one of the chefs from Little Nightmares, actually. These are not cool. Uh, no offense to the painter guy. Maybe I am the painter guy. I I'm, I'm, imagine it would be some sort of twist like that. Uh, what's in the drawer? Oh. Bunch of metals and stuff. I'm really curious as to how I'm going to impact, you know, the story, and what's gonna happen. Like, I had no idea this game had multiple endings. Oh, that one's locked. Hmm. <laughs> Why? As soon as the music stops playing, I'm gonna freak out. Oh. Turn off the faucet, you animals. There. Damn. You're gonna waste all the water. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Stop. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not starting yet. Turn on this light. There we go. Much better. Oh, Achilles prosthetics. Below knee pros prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length? What does that mean? Ugh. Customer's order name. All the names are being wiped out. If something pops up outside the window, I'm gonna scream. Oh, I'm gonna scream. So bad. Also, shower curtain. Bad. Bad. Oh, that one doesn't work. The mirror doesn't work either. I'm a vampire. Okay. What is that sound? Can that not happen? Oh, it's me. I'm doing it. Rat poison. So, the people who lived here think that they have a rat problem, but then the people, the actual like extermination company came in and were like, you don't have rats. You're crazy. Got it. Is this a wife's? Let's just spray some on ourselves. Beautiful. That's some fancy stuff right there. Can you imagine how much that would cost, like, back in the day? Like a giant perfume bottle like that? Okay. Open up distractions. Can I just- ooh. I broke the clock. Is this one of those games like Resident Evil or something where I can like investigate further and there's like a key hidden inside, you know? I wish I could freaking see. Does Harry Harry Potter live under here? <laughs> Come on out, Harry. Okay. I need to stop being so scared already. <gasps> can I carry a candle in here? Oh, 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 thank god, okay. Mousetrap. They must- yeah, they definitely had some sort of rat problem, but like, apparently not, because the actual company was like, y'all are crazy. 
so. Uh, yeah, these people. Little Vinny's end partner. Got a rat problem? Call us now for... Call us now or forget about it. Oh, that's what it says. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Was that there before? Good god. Oh, you see the little rat hole? <gasps> okay. I didn't like that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Wait a second. There's light above me. Is that... That's not the lightning, is it? That's actually, like, a room above me. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Trying to stay positive. Let's go in the kitchen. I don't want to go upstairs. I really don't. I really do not want to go upstairs. Why did the music stop? Okay, good. No, open. No, wait. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Who broke the wine glass? Or wine bottle. Damn, that food is looking fresh. Uh, figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snort his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. That's really sweet. So far, it definitely seems like the painter is sort of losing his mind a little bit. Uh, maybe he's hallucinating the rat problem and has just gone insane trying to fix it even though there's not actually rats in the house. I'm guessing, like, maybe I am the painter. I feel like that's probably what it is. And my wife made me an awesome snack, which... Did I break the bottle? Or did the painter break the bottle? I don't know. But look at those grapes. They... Is that a brain? Oh! <laughs> It's cauliflower. Here, honey, I got you a whole head of cauliflower to have as, as a snack. Enjoy. Also, mushrooms and yams. Great. What a loving, caring wife. I love my wife. I'm trying to make this less scary for me. Nice. Anything in the- oh! So I can weigh that down. It's interesting. Uh, did I have like maids and stuff here? Huh. Would be the time era for it. Well, people still have maids nowadays. But they're treated a little better, I hope. Good god! Those are some giant apples! What? What? Are the- no. Those are apples, right? Holy shit, man. Why do you need such big apples? <laughs> what is this, New York City? Oh, there's two bottles that are broken. Even better. Love it. <laughs> Love it. There's bottles everywhere. Huh. This is interesting. I'm actually really enjoying this. Paint. Oh, Rose Dor Doré. Burnt Umber. Sienna. Brushes, 25. Air fresheners, 50 packs. Apples, well, he really wanted his apples. Booze, <laughs> 30. Huh. The request from him, I'm guessing? Jeez. Yeah, he really was losing his mind, wasn't he? Well, dude. Why did you order more booze, but then smash all the bottles? That sounds like a you problem. Just saying. <laughs> uh. Can this turn on? Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, more giant apples. There's a lot of paprika as well. Oregano. Wow, you really don't need that much. <laughs> I'm honestly upset because I know that what's next is to go upstairs, right? I think that's all I can do for now. <laughs> okay. I don't see anything else in here. There's the little 
the scale, but I mean, I don't have anything to put on there yet, do I? Well, if I need to weigh something, I know where to look. Please, I just want to keep hearing the beautiful piano music. Oh, did I miss a room? I think I did. Oh no! <laughs> nope. <laughs> I know, I'm not going down there, sorry. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Okay. Huh. Looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh, the piano. Is there a ghost playing the pia piano? Oh, no. <laughs> nope. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Jeez. Oh my god. Why did that scare me? It's a pillar. It's a pillar. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Is she holding an apple? No, it's a jar. Mr. Painter and his obsession with apples. I did this in among <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Fuck you. Stop it. I just want to play the piano. <laughs> God. Why? Some burnt sheet music. <sighs> I know I'm gonna scream at this game. So I'm not looking forward to it. Why did I want to play scary games? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! What was that? Oh, come out, demon. It's fine. I'm fine. <sighs> oh, this is his office, isn't it? God! <sighs> what is with that baby? <laughs> Did this just fall? Alright. I'm scared now. Um, I was having a great time downstairs. I was totally fine. I wasn't stressed, but now, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just not enjoying it. Oh my god. You are Satan spawn. What the hell? You got... It's Bigfoot. <laughs> I fucking hate that. His keys. Nice. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight is all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Oh. Huh. Yikes. So, I mean, it almost seems like he was so engrossed in his work that he didn't make time for... Oh didn't make time for his wife anymore and she got pissed rightfully so you know oh huh. oh boy my dear friend let me ask you one simple question have you completely lost your goddamn mind I know you're going through some hard times right now I really do that's why I agree to let you do those illustrations in the first place for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your pal, Liam Brickstone. Whispered tale at publishing house. Oh boy. What? Oh. Is that what he drew? Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the first one I was like, oh, that's not that bad. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but no, it just kept getting worse. Good lord. Okay, yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea to put in a kid's bedtime story. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a no from me. Jeez, man. 
So that's bad. That's pretty bad. Okay, these plants still look better than the ones I have in my room. And that's pretty sad. Oh. True story. Picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? That's not me, is it? That's not the painter? I don't think so. Hopefully this guy doesn't come back and see me rifling through all of his stuff. It might be kind of... It might be kind of bad. Uh, if that's the case, dude, I meant no harm. Just, uh, want to see what you've been up to, you know? Oh. <laughs> okay. I wonder if the order in which I do things is gonna impact the outcome of the story. Oh my god, do you see the- What? <laughs> I love that. What is with this dude? It almost seems like his paintings are getting progressively scarier and more demented. Um, the guy also mentioned that they've been through hard times. Fuck me. Alright. Whatever, just get it over with. Oh. Maybe they lost their child? This is actually adorable. I would freaking I would have killed for this room as a child. Wow. She even had a little step stool to get in bed. What is that? Huh. Hi. How are ya? <laughs> okay. Oh. It has a little what is that? A little bell? Maybe she would jangle it if she needed her parents or something. Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't like that at all. Just a dog with a hand around its throat. <laughs> Why did I think I could handle this game? Why pink? Oh my god! Wait, was he like critiquing her art? Because he's a painter and he's like, what is this shit? That's not art. Huh. Did she scrub out the mom on purpose? Is that the mom? I assume. Wow. Why would you give your daughter a bowl of fake fruit? It's pretty mean. Give her real fruit. <laughs> I feel like- wow, that's a lot of building blocks. I feel like that's probably the route it's gonna go down, cause- oh my god, I hate those dolls, I just noticed that. Um. Because he's a painter, so it makes sense if he was starting to lose his mind, he'd be, like, angry at his own kid for, you know, just painting like a regular kid. Damn. That's mean. That's pretty mean. It's, like, narrowing down all the options for me. Every, every room I go in. I can't use that key. Oh, yeah. The key's for downstairs, I think. <laughs> Is this his room? Oh god. <sighs> I'm guessing this is his room. Why is the bed like that? Oh, I hate that. I hate that you can't see the bed. That's so... I hate that. Some beautiful music, though. Okay. <laughs> I want- I want to know what his name is. Uh, the new face of music. Night at the opera becomes a night to remember. So-and-so, uh, might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. Richter? <laughs> he was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of Blank's harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made dis disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets those words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply stated yes. We caught up with the star. Is that the wife? 
Is that our wife, maybe? I wonder if maybe the husband was sort of losing some of his notoriety and fame and sort of became jealous of his wife because she was getting that attention that he was used to. Also, I broke my mirror. Damn. Good lord. <laughs> Is that a mood ring? Can't even imagine how much that would cost. Goodness gracious. Alright. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no choice to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not been yet determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic Ronald Sheffield has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Where is that? Galactic's grand opening. Department store. That's interesting. I wonder how that relates to our guy here. He was definitely losing it, man. I mean, he had drinks everywhere. Ooh, this does not feel good. Sorry I couldn't sleep. The legs been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Oh, he had a cane. That's right. He needed the knee replacement. Um, or something. Maybe that's what was making him kind of lose it. <laughs> God, stop. I knew that would jump scare me. Alright, what's in here? Alright. Great. Thanks for doing that to me, game. Appreciate it. Also, damn. This man liked to drink a little bit. Don't you think? Alright, what's in here? Oh my god. Oh, it's locked, of course. Of course it is. Awesome. I don't like that pillar there. I don't know why that freaks me out. And that's like bad floor design, isn't it? Because like, when you leave the room, you're gonna run into a pillar. <laughs> I'm critiquing your house layout, good sir. Was that door locked? I think it was. Okay. Well, I'm not going in the basement, so you, you can't make me go in the basement. Let's go in this room. What? What? Stop it. Oh. Oh, don't like it. What is waving outside? <laughs> no. I'm scared. Get it right this time. Oh. Why did the music stop? <laughs> no. I don't like this at all. Is that hell? Great. Cool. Oh my god, please turn the music back on. Oh. Did we break all these? Goodness gracious, man. He was, like, losing his talent or something, wasn't he? Why are these all locked? Uh, I'm postponing it. Jeez. Goodness gracious, man. Maybe the reason you weren't painting well is because you're drinking all the time. <laughs> well, please turn the music back on. Please. You need to freaking sort this place better. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sakes. Come talk to me when you've, when you've done, before you go to sleep. Oh, is that his wife? I think so. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Not making time for his own wife. Fuck. <sighs> what? <laughs> it's covered for a reason. Why? <laughs> oh. Why? Lost it. You deserve. Finish it. 
Okay. I don't like this. Why? Why? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> no. Can we please turn the music back on? <laughs> no. No. Oh, I don't want to play this anymore. Okay, fine. Just, oh, just jump scare me if you're going to do it. Uh. No. Fuck. Why? 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 Turn on the light. Turn on the light. <laughs> oh no. Just out of rage. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Just let me out. Uh. <sighs> Why? Going in a circle. Oh my god. Yeah, is that his wife? Scraps of love. I knew she was a pianist, right? Oh my god. Uh, just let me open it. <laughs> nope, gonna be something in here, isn't there? Please, I just want the pretty music back on. Oh, you know what? I bet that piano was actually, like, supposed to represent her, wasn't it? What's going on? What? Oh! What? <gasps> what? What do you want? Let me guess, is it 666? <laughs> Please. I, I don't like the demonic screeching going on here. There. Did I do it? I absolutely hate this. What should I be doing though? Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four, eight, five. Four, eight, five. Got it. Yeah, do I really want to open this? Is that really what I want to do? Really? Four, eight. Uh. The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? That's so cheesy. Wait, we saw this ring earlier in the bedroom. Past holds back. Look closer. Okay. <laughs> Great. Glad we got that out of the way. Um, was this door here before? Why? Why? Dude, stop. <laughs> Just stop. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. Okay. Oh. You've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time you were not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time you'll have to look for a new job. Yeah, it was like the... Why is it so quiet? It was like the maid or... I don't know, housekeeper, whatever. Ugh! I hate... It's like the house is getting progressively worse every time I go in the room. Can I turn on the light, please? 
please? Alright, great. <laughs> great. Um, yeah, don't like the deer head. Also, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? Is something in here with me? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I need to turn up the graphics. Oh, that made it worse. That made it so much worse. Oh my god, turn it down. Oh my god. What? Stop it. Dust mice. Even in my lungs, there's always more grotesque vermin dirt. I absolutely hate this. Oh, this was base the basement. <laughs> this was basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> no! Stop it! <laughs> what? Oh, why? Why? Can... Can we just not do this right now? Can we just not? Ugh! My love, even though you have not been born yet. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I need to start over. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. So this isn't from the husband. Okay. I've never been a deeply religious person, I guess. What other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet, here you are within me. I'm quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. That's really sweet. But also sad because obviously her perfect life did not end up very well, did it? Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> you what, mate? Okay. Okay. Another jump scare? Bring it on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Okay. Oh. Huh? oh, there's dead rats. There are dead rats. Look at that. Oh, down the rabbit hole. I get it. You're a real jokester, aren't ya? Oh, 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 what? Oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! I think that is not good. I do not like that. Nope. Okay. Awesome. I am <laughs> playing this game like this the whole time. Because I hate it. Okay. Well, what did that all mean? Because I didn't like any of that. Um, also baby has like painter strokes on it now. I'm guessing he was here and recently so even better. Okay. Did I ask? Did I ask? <laughs> Did I? Oh. Oh no. It just never ends. It just never ends does it? Can I have one peaceful moment please? I wonder what that one was. Oh, whoa, that's freaky. That's freaky. That's so cool, though. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Shit, stop it! Stop. I just, I just want one peaceful moment, please. 
paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like oh. that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. I'm not that round. <laughs> Is that his wife? Was he cheating on his wife with another woman? And she freaked out? Maybe? But I thought that looked kind of like her. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, it's just a fire. Okay. Oh. That rat just killed itself. Okay. It might be me in a minute. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, uh, what? Why? Oh, is that in some sort of Latin? Okay, cool. <clears throat> Voice crack. Uh, I don't want to... What is it with the rats in this game? Not a fan. Gotta admit, not a fan. Is it a teddy bear? Maybe the daughter was here? I don't know. Okay. I'm being really quiet because I... Oh. Oh. Screeching arsonists. Echoing screams. They stop at nothing and won't go down easy. Wow, the rats were driving him insane, weren't they? Okay. Okay, fine. I'll get... Yeah. See? See? <laughs> oh my god. Stop! Stop! Every time I go near a fireplace or anything in this stupid game, I get jump scared. Stop. Oh. Where'd you go, buddy? Can I join ya? Can I join you, please? Please? I'm making jokes to uh, keep my sanity up. Okay. Why is it so quiet in here? That's probably the worst part. And jump scare. <laughs> jump scare. Jump scare. <laughs> oh. What? What? What do you want? Okay. Something at the window? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I think I have one more scare in me and then it's time for me to stop. Okay. Wife? Oh, come on. Oh, I don't like it. Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I couldn't find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. What does that mean? <laughs> oh god, I'm so scared. Oh, I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm not even talking. Uh, uh, I could have gone the other way, but... First step is the hardest. <laughs> oh! We're back in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen! Yay! Okay, God. Okay, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Okay, so there's a lot right now that I think I need to discuss and sort of get off my chest. There's just a lot of elements to this game so far that are terrifying me and scaring the shit out of me, especially like going into like slowly opening a door and looking into this dark room is 
quite possibly the worst thing that could possibly happen in this game. It's it's terrifying me. Also, this is glitching out really bad. Let's look over there. Okay. This whole thing is terrifying me so far, especially hearing her like crying in that other room. Did not like that. Did not like that at all, actually. That was pretty... It was pretty... I, I hated that, actually. Um, that's kind of why I stopped it here, because I don't want to go any further. I'm just really scared right now. I think it's a good idea for me to leave it off here, although I am actually really enjoying it. I like being able to piece together these clues myself and finding all these different notes and stuff and trying to figure out what exactly happened. So what we have established so far is there was this painter guy and his wife and his daughter. Uh, I believe. I don't think they had any more children. Um, the painter guy, we don't know his name. The wife, we don't know either. Everywhere that it would be listed has been scratched out or ripped up to some degree. There's the infestation of rats that's going on that seemed, I thought it was maybe all in his head, but it actually seems like there are rats in the house and they're killing themselves and it's driving this painter guy crazy and he, I feel like it's making it hard for him to focus on his painting. He, he's definitely the, ow, he's definitely the obsessive type and he said in that little um, dialogue clip that we heard that he, it drove him crazy not to have um, his name on the most beautiful piece of artwork. Obviously he was referring to his wife, but I also feel like that kind of sheds a little light on how obsessive he can be over his his status because you know he finds that painting is you know his he's gifted at it and anyone that doesn't hire him is kind of i don't know he sees it as a personal attack then there's also the wife who she was saying that she um she was getting a lot of critics hating her performances when she first started out but now she's like a world-renowned pianist and she was told she couldn't have a daughter, but she ended up having a daughter, um, and she married the love of her life, which it also seems like their marriage was definitely rocky towards what I guess is the ending of it. They left notes for each other around the house instead of actually talking to each other, like, you know, face to face. She said at the end part that she's always been weird about talking to you directly until now, which makes me feel like, oh shit, maybe we might see her? Uh, I swear to god if anything starts chasing me in this game, I'm turning it off. I don't know. I honestly don't know how much more I can take if it gets scarier, which it obviously will, but it's honestly really, really scary so far. It's definitely the scariest game I've played on this channel, I think. Um, besides Little Nightmares, that was kind of- actually, Among the Sleep got me pretty scared, but this is like- it has a lot more atmosphere to it, I think, and a lot more build-up, and it's definitely- it's definitely freaky. I'm trying to remain calm, as calm as I can, and I'm trying not to let the jump scares get to me too much, but it is pretty hard because I'm a big old baby and I jump at everything. I'm really, really interested to continue, like, uncovering the story and uncover what is really going on, and I don't know. I'm very, very interested because there's so many elements to this. Um, there's also his knee, that was bothering him. He has a drinking problem, from what I can gather, obviously. Um, and he was starting to, like, critique his daughter's own artwork, like, even though they were just children's drawings, he was just like, why are you using pink? You know, stuff like that. So I feel like it definitely, the, the art lifestyle and um, status, like, the artist's status got to his head a little bit and made him insane. It's raining outside, it's pretty gloomy, so I figured this was the perfect day to play it. Only it kind of made me uh, even more scared because it like enhanced the, the the creep factor to it, but I don't know. We'll see how things go next time. I'm very excited, very interested to keep playing. It's really, really cool so far and I'm liking it a lot. Glad I picked it up even though, like I said, it is really scary. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like or subscribe if you're new because I'd really love to have you stick around and watch me play some video games and just hang out with me and enjoy the ride because this is going to be a wild time. Anyways guys, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.